Are you facing server issues or having trouble connecting to Throne and Liberty? Don't worry. In this video, I'll walk you through some easy to follow steps that have worked for other players. Let's dive right into it. Solution one, restart the game. Sometimes a simple restart is all it takes to get back in the game. First, close Throne and Liberty. If it's running, press the Windows button, search for the game and exit it completely. Then relaunch the game, either through the launcher or by clicking the desktop icon and check if the server issue persists. Solution two, verify the game files. Corrupted or missing files can cause connectivity problems. Here's how to verify and fix them. Open the game launcher and go to your library to find Throne and Liberty. Right click the game and select properties, then head to the local files tab. Click on verify integrity of game files and wait for the platform to scan and repair any damaged files. This worked for some players and it could be your fix too. Solution three, check your internet connection. A stable internet connection is crucial for an online game. Here's a quick way to ensure your connection is steady. Open command prompt by pressing the Windows button and searching for CMD. Then type pinggoogle.com and press enter. Now check for packet loss or high latency. If your connection is unstable, you might need to restart your router or contact your ISP. Solution four, change your computer's time zone to Seoul, Korea. A player shared that changing their time zone resolved server connection issues. It's worth trying. Click the Windows button and search for settings. Now go to time and language, then date and time, and turn off set time zone automatically. Then choose Seoul, Korea, UTC plus nine from the drop down menu. Finally, restart your game and see if the issue is fixed. Solution five, scan and repair game files. If verifying the game files didn't work, you might need to perform a full scan and repair. Open the game launcher and look for the option that says scan and repair, usually in the settings or the launcher's main menu. Then let the launcher scan your game files and automatically repair any issues it finds. Solution six, check server status. Sometimes the issue isn't on your end at all. Servers could be down for maintenance or overloaded. First, visit the official Throne and Liberty website or check their social media channels for any announcements about server downtime. You can also use third-party websites like Down Detector to see if other players are reporting similar problems. If the servers are down, you might just have to wait until they're back up.